If you love God, prove it. Let me say this. Is it possible that sin can make us sick? Can sin bring disease to us? Can sin make us ill? Hey, let's find out. Let's go to John chapter 5. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And I don't really want to go really, really deep into this. So if you want to, you can read from verse 1 all the way down to verse 14. So let's start at verse 5. Okay. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. So what does infirmity mean? Hey, let's look it up. Physical or a mental weakness. So illness, malady, ailment, disease, 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 disorder, sickness, affliction, so on and so on. So some type of physical or mental weakness. So if there is something wrong with your body, I believe that is an infirmity. Okay, now wait on, hold on, and I will explain more at the end. Okay, so let's go to verse 6. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? So you can go to verse 7 and verse 8, verse 9. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked and on the same day was a Sabbath. So you can read verse 10, 11, 12, 13, okay, 14. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Okay. So we have a man which had an infirmity for 38 years, right? So some type of disease, physical or mental weakness. Okay. So he gets healed. Now Jesus comes to him and say in so many words or to sum up what he said. Hey. <laughs> so in my own words. <laughs> hey, you are healed now. If you sin again or continue to sin, something worse is going to happen to you. Something worse than what you had for 38 years. So if you continue to sin, something worse than what you had for 38 years, what? Will come to you. So, you may say to me, Kevin, is this the case for everyone? Let me say this. I don't know everyone. I have not spoken to every sick person. I have not spoken to everyone that has an infirmity. 
So can I say this is the case for everyone? I can't say that. So is this the case for everyone that has cancer? Is this the case for everyone that has diabetes? Is this the case for everyone that has some type of thing that is wrong with them? I don't know. I can't say that. But what I can say, sin can make you ill. I believe this to be true. May not be the case for everyone, but I believe that sin can make you sick. Before I end, something else came to my mind. I believe I was reading this with another person and this story came to my mind, I believe. Let's go to Matthew chapter 9. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. So let me go through this before I end. So you can go through 1 through 6 if you want, or 1 through 7. So let's go... Let's go to verse 2. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy. And you may say to me, Kevin, what is the palsy? Okay, let me look it up. Palsy, paralysis, especially that which is accompanied by involuntary tremors. So something you may not want. Okay, let's go back. Lying on a bed, and Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. And you can go, you can read verse 3, verse 4, verse 5, verse 6. So let's go to verse 6. But, mm, yes, let me read it. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins, then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thy house. So, from my understanding, this person was sick because of sin. Why else would he say, thy sins be forgiven thee? Before he healed them, he forgave that person of their sins. After that, that man got healed. So, I believe what I am saying is right. So, we have an instance in John chapter 5, which, okay, and we have another instance in Matthew chapter 9. So I believe sin can make you ill. Is that the case for everyone? I don't know. But I know that from the scriptures, if I am understanding it correctly, Sin can make us sick. So if, man, let me say this. If you are sinning, and if you are sick, you may have to think to yourself, is my sinning making me sick? So if this is your case here, 
why would you still be interested in taking these pills and doing this and doing that when you can stop sinning and see what happens? Other than researching and researching about cures, okay, how about try, how about you try to stop sinning and see if that works? I believe when I was in sin, I was so sick. But as I started to do right by God, I believe I noticed my health getting better. And I am not nearly, not nearly as active as I used to be. Oh, Kevin, you must eat really healthy food. I don't think so. <laughs> so if you are in sin, if you have an infirmity, try not sinning and see if that works. Because you may be ill because of sin. Let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you are showing love to other people. God bless you.